Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the San Remo Cube R. While San Remo is new to iDrink Coffee, we've only recently partnered with them. They're actually quite well established, having been founded in 1961 in Northern Italy. San Remo has been building commercial machines for over 60 years now. However, in recent years, uh, San Remo has really gained a lot of notice and a lot of notoriety in the specialty coffee community uh, because they're creating machines with just incredible design, very bold and beautiful uh, and unique machines. And they've also expanded into the home market with the Cube and also the San Remo U. Aside from their beautiful design and aesthetic, San Remo is also known for pushing the envelope when it comes to technology of espresso machines. The Cube is a perfect example of that. And in this video, I'm going to discuss this machine's many features. And of course, I'm going to demonstrate it by pulling some drinks. So the first thing that we see with the Cube is, of course, its beautiful aesthetic. Uh, here I have the blue, but the machine comes in eight different colors. Uh, stainless steel or a chrome finish, uh, white, black, green, red, yellow, pink, and of course, blue. I got them all, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. The first thing that I was struck by when I saw the Cube was its compact size. The machine is 32.3 centimeters wide, 46.5 centimeters deep, and 36.9 centimeters high. That's actually under 15 inches and should fit under any cabinet. And if that's too high, you can actually even lower the machine even further because these rails here are removable. If you take those off, you probably gain, uh, I would estimate, an additional 5 centimeters or about 2 inches or so, making the machine really low. You can see where the cube gets its name from. And while most espresso machines are rectangular, uh, San Remo has paid attention to make the depth and the width more or less the same to give you that kind of boxy look, uh, which I find very attractive. Also to add to it, you have the steam and hot water wands, and this is a very specific design too to keep those edges, and I think it comes together really nicely. The Cube is powered using a 1.9 liter heat exchanger boiler and it has the E61 group head which is the most widely used commercial group head in the world, very very common, but there is one change on the Cube. In order to turn the group on, you pull the switch upwards to the up position as opposed to on most home machines, uh, you put it into the down position. This is actually the original design as it was back in 1961 when it was invented uh, with uh, when FEMA invented the E61. I think it's cool, it gives the machine a further differentiation and just adds to its kind of classic cool look. Now this machine has a rotary pump on the inside and it can be run as a pour over machine using the included tank which is up here. There's a, a beautiful stainless steel door that opens up. That's a 1.8 liter tank. Uh, but it can also be plumbed in directly to your water source. This machine does have a rotary pump, so that is possible. On the left-hand side here, we have the steam wand. And this is a dual-walled steam wand, so I can touch it uh, without burning my hand. And the valve is actually quite cool. So you move it to the right if you want to do a purge. It doesn't lock in the right position. It locks in the left position. So I turn that in order to turn on the steam. Once I'm done, I will turn it off. And you'll see that in action when I'm making a cappuccino in just a few minutes. On the right hand side we have the hot water wand and this is also on a ball joint so you can kind of manipulate it to uh, fit your cup or uh, whatever you need water for. And it's the same thing on the right, it doesn't lock and on the left it opens and locks so you get the water that you need for an Americano, for a cup of tea or what have you. On the bottom right here uh, we have uh, two manometers, two pressure gauges. Uh, the top one measures the pressure inside the boiler and the bottom one measures the pump pressure. Another thing that I really love about the Cube is this large drip tray. It gives you a lot of room to work. You can put big cups. Uh, it's quite deep, so you don't have to uh, empty it that often. And it just pulls out just like that. Uh, very easy to, uh, to empty. And the drip tray can also be plumbed into a drain, so that way you don't have to empty it at all. You just have it directly going to a drain. The last feature I want to discuss on the Cube is its Wi-Fi connectivity. And this is what really separates this machine from other machines in this class. The Wi-Fi app is really well made and really easy to use. So this is the home screen of the app. And we see a couple of different options. We see our boiler temperature. That's the current readout of the temperature. We see our water tank where it's at. Uh, there's a sensor inside. It will tell you if your water is low. We see our extraction time. That corresponds to the timer on the machine. The PID on the machine is also a shot timer. Uh, but if you're using the machine 
at the same time as the app, that will of course show the extraction time. And there's a shot um, counter. So it says I, I've done six shots today, uh, but you can also see uh, the history of the machine as well. Uh, one of the main things that you may want to do with the machine is change the temperature. And to do that, you press the boiler and you go into the boiler screen. And what I really like about this uh, uh, particular machine, this is a heat exchanger, so we're not uh, controlling the extraction temperature directly, but the temperature inside the boiler. It's currently set at 120 degrees Celsius. And it says my estimated brew temperature is 91.5 degrees. So if I want to change this, let's say I go up to 121 degrees, you see my estimated brew temperature is now 92.7. That's a cool feature that I haven't really seen uh, on heat exchanger machines. I know we'll have it in the manual, uh, but then you have to go find the manual, look it up. Here I have it right in front of me. It's a very cool feature and I like it a lot. This screen here is the settings and the by far the coolest feature is the programming feature on the cube. And what this allows me to do, it allows me to set the machine to turn on and off at a particular time uh, and that of course saves energy. On a lot of machines you have one uh, on time and one off time, but with the cube we have uh, multiple time slots. So for example, I'm just going to go into Monday here, I'm going to add a slot. I'm an early riser so I want a coffee right when I get up, so I'm going to set the machine to turn on at 6 a.m. and then I'm off to work by 8, so I won't need the machine anymore. I'm going to have it turn off at 8 a.m. So that two-hour window, the machine will be hot, will be ready to brew coffee. But then if I want to have some coffee when I get home, I can add another time slot. So I usually get home around uh, 5 o'clock. So I'm going to have the machine start getting ready at 4.30, so I can have that coffee right when I get home. And let's say we'll end it at... 8 p.m. and then I can also copy this if I wanted to Monday to Friday but for now I'm just going to save it for the Monday. I will have two different time slots when the machine turns on and off. Very simple to set up and very simple to use. You do have a seven day option with this so if your schedule is different on the weekends like mine is on the weekends I can sleep an extra 15 minutes or so. Uh, so <laughs> uh, you can you can change that to your, your preferences. Now back in the settings menu you also have the counters. Counters like I mentioned before just counts how many preparations you're doing in a day, how many coffees. You can see I've done six today. That's going to rise shortly because we're going to start brewing in a minute. But it shows how much I've done for the week, the month, the year uh, and of course the total. Uh, that's, that's a very neat feature. Wi-Fi is of course to set the machine up with Wi-Fi. I've already done that with this particular machine. Alarms will give you any errors that the machine detects. Uh, so uh, you can report that to your technician or to your dealer. And then in the user settings, we have a few more options. We can set the language. We can change the units of measure. So if you're more comfortable with Fahrenheit, you can change that to Fahrenheit. I'm of course in Canada, so I'm using Celsius. Uh, there's uh, clock settings where you'd set your time, uh, energy savings, and one feature I really like that I haven't seen on machines is the filter report. And I'm going to just go into that and turn that on. And if you're using a, with this machine, if you're using it as a pour over like I am today, you can use an in-tank water softener, something like the Oscar Built or any uh, similar product. And what you would do is you turn the filter report option on and you would set an expiry date for your filter. So I'm going to set it, for example, to three months. So we, we turned that feature on and now when we go back to the uh, home screen, you see that our water filter is at 100%. And once that three months elapses on my app, it will tell me it's time to change my filter, which is very useful because we've seen uh, it's easy to forget how long that filter has been inside there. Uh, this way the machine reminds you. So now let's see this machine in action. Let's make some drinks. And the first drink that I'm going to be making is a double shot of espresso. Alongside the cube I'm using the uh, Eureka Libra grinder. This is a grind by weight grinder. It's set to deliver 16 grams of coffee. I want to point out while I'm tamping this coffee some of the accessories that are included with this machine and this tamper that I'm using actually does come inside the box and the milk pitcher I'll be using later also comes in the box. So San Remo gives you a nice branded tamper, a nice stainless steel pitcher and I want to um, qualify this because machines bought from idrinkcoffee.com they're not like this all around the world it depends on your dealer how they order it. But machines brought, bought from idrinkcoffee.com will include a double uh, spouted portafilter like the one I'm using. It will also include a, a bottomless portafilter and 
uh, we're including IMS competition baskets. So you get a double and a triple basket from IMS, which are precision baskets made in Italy, and also a precision shower screen. Now this being a heat exchanger machine, prior to brewing, I do like to do a cooling flush. So I'm just gonna run some water through the group. Uh, make sure that it's not too hot. I'm gonna let that go into the drip tray because it is a large drip tray, but you can also uh, put that into a cup if you don't want to mess. I'll just wipe that down. And now I begin extracting my coffee. And you see the PID, like I mentioned earlier, acts as a shot timer. That's a very uh, useful feature, a feature that I find when I go to a machine that doesn't have it, it's a feature that I miss. Uh, so it is quite useful for dialing in your shots. I'm just going to stop it right there. That's about 27 seconds. But you can see we have two lovely shots of espresso. Nice color. Yeah, it's a really nice extraction. So the next drink I'm going to make is going to be a, a milk-based drink. I'm going to actually do two lattes at once. And I've already got my coffee tamped and, well, ground and tamped and prepared. I'm going to put the two cups right here. And while that's brewing, I'm going to be steaming at the same time. So I'm just going to give my wand a little purge, make sure there's no water inside there, and begin my extraction. And of course, this is a heat exchanger machine, so you can froth and brew at the same time. And this stainless steel pitcher, which is branded, is included with the machine, which is also quite a cool feature. I'm gonna stop it there, wipe the wand, purge one more time. And now simply add, add my milk. There we have two lattes that are ready to enjoy. Uh, cappuccinos, lattes are very uh, easy to make using the San Remo cube. The final drink that I'm gonna demonstrate is an Americano and I put my water on the right hand side here. I'll open that up. Spend some water into my cup. You'll hear the pump come on, and that's, of course, the boiler refilling. Then I place my cup here, pull my lever up, and extract. Stop it right there, and we have an Americano that's ready to enjoy. San Remo is a brand that I Drink Coffee has specifically targeted because we've been so impressed with what they've been doing in the last couple of years and we're absolutely ecstatic to be working with them directly and providing these machines to Canadian coffee lovers. The Cube is a machine that I have just fallen in love with. I just love the classic aesthetic of this machine. It looks fantastic. It's available in eight colors. It gives you a completely different look from everyone else uh, and a really beautiful classic design in your kitchen. If you have any questions about the Cube or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're always here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about coffee machines, espresso machines, coffee grinders, everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.